Yeah, so it sits really nice. Listen to the birds. I love hearing the birds chirping. See, I don't know if I'm going to go back driving. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just... Driving, it makes you so tired because you're driving for such long hours and, and stuff like that. And if I could just do it part-time or something like that, you know, to work out how to... Um, Work out what all my outgoings and whatever else, and and hopefully we can do, I can do it part time and and manage to live still. So because you're driving for such long hours and it's um, it's a very lonely job as well. That doesn't help with depression when you're by yourself. You know, I, I really do think people that suffer with depression needs to uh, needs to be around people. I know I'm not now because of obviously reasons, but. Just got all going out, just getting out for a walk like this, getting a pet, getting a dog or something like that, you know, anything like that. Um, beautiful place to walk the dogs around here. I've only seen one pile of dog crap, so we're doing all right. <laughs> look at that, look at, obviously the river's flooded when we had all that rain. And it's it's come over the tops and it's made like a little lake with trees in, look. Little pond. So this is beautiful. This I do. I do like this. This is um, better than walking down the road. Something over there. Look, I don't know if you can see sheds and that. And I want to get over there, but I can't get across the river. It looks like some sort of waterworks or something. It'd be interesting to go and have a look. But uh, there's a, like a road down to it. I don't know how you get to it. Probably private that. But uh, yeah, it is beautiful here. Here's another sign for the boats, when the boats come down. See what this one says? You have them out like road signs. Hmm. They're like road signs all over the place. Oh, it kind of splits to the river here. Kind of... Uh...